Yep, I'm at the lovely Skirred Inn again. I have some sort of weakness, a problem, an inability to simply drive past this pub. Popping in for a pint, having come over the bridge into Wales, seems to be what I do. Well, it is, as I've done for just over 20 years. Dan, of Camp Life Bushcraft fame, and I are heading a little further north from here, so we won't be stopping long. It's going to get dark soon, and I'll be leading the way up to the summit of Hay Bluff as a night trek. Hi, I'm Warren Brand, and welcome to another Linley's video. I've parked near to the Gospel Pass in the car park, and by the time we set out to face the ascent, the sun has disappeared, and we're left with a warm glow in the sky. The evening air has a chill though, autumn is on its way. I've carefully picked a tent spot just northeast of the trig point on Hay Bluff. The view from this point in the morning should be dandy. The moon, large and orangey red, is rising and giving the sky a spooky, eerie look. Dan and I stopped at a fine dining restaurant just off the M4 motorway and have already feasted on burgers and chips. I was naughty and pinched a couple of extra tomato ketchups to go with our breakfast in the morning. Before bed though, a mug of hot chocolate with a good dousing of rum is a fine way to conclude the evening. The morning looks good and I was right. The view from here over the lovely Y Valley, looking north, is grand. Dan sorted the coffee and I had a go at some breakfast. Bacon, eggs in baps, well, sort of baps, the ones with holes, these ones, toasted, tucked down the inside of my trangia. We're not in a rush, there's time to enjoy the views and pack up really slow.
back at the trig point on Hay Bluff, we simply push on back down to Gospel Pass. The wind conditions must be just right for hang gliders. There are several standing ready to launch on the edge and several more already in flight above. Buzzing up the mountain on the west side of Gospel Pass, we push on up to Lord Hereford's Knob. I camped here before, maybe you've seen my video from that trip already. Since my last trip here, there's been lots of work on the path undertaken as the trail now has a good layer of gravel to ease the step and to reduce wear on the soil. A lunch stop is next and I'm simply heating up a large tin of soup on my trangia. I have some extra alley strips cut and shaped for this purpose. After a bit of a relaxing break, and if I'm honest, a snooze in the shelter of this hollow here, we push on the short distance to our target spot just beyond Lord Hereford's Knob.
Dan wants a flat lay this evening, so takes the trouble to test the patch of ground before pitching his tent. Yes. We have our actos facing each other a bit, sociable that way. It looks like we're on a path. Well, technically we are, but the track is not the main path, which is about 25 metres further back from the edge. Sleep for about an hour. So I Would you like an, an, apple an apple crumble? I could do. I'll spoil my dinner. I'm not eating yet. Yeah, I'm an apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. This ridge. But it's, that's what I said. It's, so it's the name of that ridge, which I can't pronounce. I have some easy cooked pasta and sauce for supper, and some apple crumbles and custard. We had a really good night out under the stars, but Danny's dead keen to have a very special breakfast in the well-known fine dining restaurant just off the M4. So at dawn, we've packed up and are trekking back towards Gospel Pass.
And we're back and have concluded another most enjoyable weekend out in the Black Mountains. Thanks, Dan, for your company. Thanks for watching and bye for now.